Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Photoshop, all of the elements that you manipulate are stored in layers. A layer is like a transparent sheet on which the images are placed and edited. Where there is no image or content in a layer, it's transparent, allowing you to see through to the content below. You can stack several layers on top of one another to separate the various individual image elements of a larger image file. This way you can manipulate the contents of a single layer without disturbing the contents of the other layers. Throughout this chapter, we will examine how we can create and edit the layers and their contents to produce various effects in our image files. Understanding and using layers is one of the most critical aspects of being an effective user of the Photoshop application. Whenever you create a new image file in Photoshop that has a white or colored background, the bottommost layer is called the background layer. An image can have only one background layer at most. You cannot change the placement of the background layer in the stack, its opacity, or its blending mode. However, you can change this layer into a normal layer, and we'll be looking at that in an upcoming lesson. If you create a new image with a transparent background, then the image file does not have a background layer. The bottommost layer is not constrained in the way that the standard background layer is, so you can move its position in the stack, change its opacity, and even change its blending mode. You use the Layers panel to manage your layers in the selected image file. You can launch the Layers panel if it isn't already displayed by selecting Window and then Layers from the menu bar. Over in the Layers panel, you'll see the various layers in the current image file displayed in a list. Over here. Now, just as with our other panels that we've seen, this panel has a Panel Options button that you can click to view the options for the panel in a pop-up menu. Let's take a moment to examine the Layers Panel's features before we start using it. First, at the top with the drop-down, we have the Blending Mode, which we can select. Underneath that, we have our Layer Locks, so we can lock the contents of the layers in various ways. We'll look at that shortly. We have Layer Visibility, this small eye icon next to the layer that by clicking allows you to hide or display the contents of that layer. We have the thumbnails of the layers here. At the bottom we have several buttons. We have a little button for linking layers. You can add a vector mask, a new fill or adjustment layer, a new layer set or group, or create a new layer, or even delete a layer, which is the small trash icon there. The selected layer is the one that's highlighted like that. You'll see the layer name also listed. Up in the upper right hand corner we have the opacity sliders here, so we have the master opacity slider here, as well as the interior opacity slider below it. So we'll be looking at all of these different features and options and what we can do with the layers panel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.